I can and I will. <coughs> I can and I will. Well, I was thinking in terms of, in terms of ideas for superheroes, that I have a few ideas that I quite like. Uh, for one of the superheroes, I thought that you could have someone who makes sandwiches really quick, and with good chicken and with healthy leaves, vegetables, so that the kids have a balanced diet and stay strong. He would also be able to drive the kids to school on time so they can learn important stuff like, uh, like God's story and how to pay tax and that. Uh, another one of my ideas was for a man who could write really fast and he would write important letters to bad companies who hurt Indians and lovely trees. Uh, I think that would be good. He would be good. Yeah, he would be. Uh, obesity is a big problem <laughs> as well. And I thought that we could have one man whose superpower was to be able to suck fat out of people and then serve that to other people who were poor because they don't have any money and they can't afford fat of their own because they're poor. And another, my, uh, one of my ideas was to have uh, cars, special cars, with signs for elderly people, like with coffins on the top, so people know not to drive too fast at them, so as not to scare the old people, because they sort of don't know whether it's a car or God coming to take them to heaven. So. I think that if you designed that car, you would be a superhero. And that's it. Okay, that was DJ Jeremy Paddles with Love as a Dumbbell. It's Saturday morning. It is forecast to be a lovely, lovely day today. What better way to start it by listening to me, Timothy Russell on Breakfast Talk. Today we want your calls, thoughts and feelings about everyday life. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Nanny Talk Radio. Call us and tell us about yourself, what you do and what you like, maybe even your thoughts on the economy this morning. Hey, George Osborne, if you're listening, give us a call. So call us on 07522300918. That is 07774573628299 stroke C. And it's your calls, your thoughts for Timothy Russell. Happening right here, right now. Timothy, my name's Keith. I uh, I collect collectible toys and figures. Well, they're they're more than toys. They are collectibles. Very valuable, valuable to me. Um, and I just pass the time with them really. <laughs> um, away from toys, I'm very political. Owen Jones, you smell like a tramp. Vince Cable is a very bright and wise young fella who knows how to drive the car that is the British economy. But I think Kellogg's has ruined him and so my constituency vote is definitely with a kip. Yeah, David Dimbleby, I wonder what bra size your wife has. <laughs> but we all do bad like Kellogg's. Even my toys sometimes do the wrong thing, which is disappointing, but is a part of life. Jeffrey, you forgot to flush the toilet again!
Jeffrey! Jeff! Jeffrey? Jeffrey? No. No. No, Jeffrey. No. You said you never would. That's <laughs> sucks, Jeffrey. <laughs> you betrayed everything I thought we had. <laughs> but sometimes I've done bad things too. I've not always been good and I get upset when I think of how I have treated others. It is not always easy to remember it but others have feelings too, just like me and I can get it wrong. Getting it wrong is bad but a part of life and I would be the poorer person without my mistakes. for me and my head thinks about the bad I have done, I go to therapy to get better. And then I hit him and told him he smelled like a charity shop. He didn't like that. Not at all. There are still times, however, when I feel at sea. I don't know if there are the right words to describe it, but I guess it's just when nothing is to be said. And, and that's it. Um, well, thanks for calling, Keith. That was Keith. And didn't it sound like he's just having a blast? It's Saturday morning and here we are with the next...